Steve Helwick on the line uh, breaking down uh, the bowl games for us. We move on to the first responder bowl. We've got uh, Western Michigan taking on Western Kentucky in this one. Can you set us up uh, for this one? This is about evenly matched as one of the most evenly matched bowl games this year. Western Michigan 7 and 5, WKU is 8 and 4. Both these teams really had bounce back seasons from last year. Western Kentucky's operating under first year head coach Tyson Helton started off uh as a really bad season, losing to an FCS team, the only team to lose the one on week one. They lost to Central Arkansas and really blew a fourth quarter lead in that game. But the Hilltoppers have come back and they have dominated in recent games. They beat some of the contenders in the CUSA, beating teams like UAB and beating Marshall. And they also, although this is probably one of the worst teams they played this year, they beat an SEC team, Arkansas, but like 45 to 19 or something of that nature where they just ran all over them all day long. So the Hilltoppers have been back this year. And I think a lot of that was Arkansas transfer quarterback, Ty story. He took over Steven from Steven Duncan, a couple games into the season. And I think story has gone eight and two as a starter. He has over 2000 yards passing, doesn't make too many mistakes this year. And he's been completing 70% of his passes, which is a really good mark for a quarterback there. And then they have Gage Walker, their 1,000-yard rusher, who was really provided a great boost to the offense, a team that really couldn't score points last year. Then you combine that with uh, Devin Key leads one of the best defenses in, in the country. They are, I think, in the top 25 in opponent points per game, and they've, they've really limited a lot of CUSA opponents recently. But I think that Western Michigan presents a very good offense in this game. Levante Bellamy has more touchdowns than any other player in the nation. He's Western Michigan's star running back. He has 4-3, 40-yard dash speed. And I think he's a pro prospect. He's a senior. He only has – this has been his second healthy season in college football. When he's healthy, he's great. He's dominant. And I think – I calculated before. I think 9 or 10 of his 23 touchdown runs this year – are from 35 or more yards. So he gets those open speed carries, those open field carries and just dominates with speed almost more than anyone else in college football. He was doing them all year long from playing Syracuse to playing Georgia State. He was doing them against every single opponent that, that he was playing this year. So I think Levante Bellamy in his final college game is one storyline to watch in this one. He's a little banged up going to into this game, but he comes in with 1,400 yards, one of the best running backs in the country. And also, Western Michigan has some other great players playing in their last game. Quarterback John Wasink, who's been the starter for three years there, he hadn't been able to finish a health, uh, healthy season yet, always getting season-ending injuries in October. And finally, he's finishing a season with Western Michigan, which will be huge for them in this game. And he's, he's a tough quarterback. He's thrown for almost 3,000 yards this year, almost certain to pass it when playing WKU. And he's a tough runner, too. Late in the season, his running was really boosting the offense, too, on those read options and zone reads he was running in the backfield. That helped them beat Ohio late in the season. So I think Wasink's addition of the run game to his arsenal can help Western Michigan's offense here. The only reason that Western Michigan really didn't appear in the MAC championship game, I think, is their defense. They do have the defensive player of the year in the MAC, and Treshawn Hayward, who has over 130 tackles this year, 11 tackles for loss. But their defense, they they struggled. They made Michigan State look like an elite offense. They made Syracuse look like an elite offense. When they played those teams, the defense faltered every time in the run game and the pass game, and it was getting. They had to transfer one of their wide receivers to cornerback this year. Their star wide receiver. And then he got hurt, and they had a shortage shortage of cornerbacks. So a lot of injuries on the defense, and then the front seven hasn't been too good at stopping opponents this year. So Gage Walker for Western Kentucky could have a, de- a big day in the run game. So I think this, I think this first responder bowl is actually going to be a shootout, and it'll be a close one. That Western Kentucky defense is led by D'Angelo Malone. He's got twenty and a half tackles for loss and eleven sacks. Jawan Jones compliments him with 11 tackles for loss and six plus sacks. So those are the disruptors for the Hilltoppers. Uh, Steve Helwick on the line, breaking down bowl games for us across the Mac. This one, the first responder bowl, Western Kentucky and Western Michigan. Steve, we appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a Merry Christmas.